and welcome to Adfield. So today we're exhibiting the Adfield G20 incinerator. This is a bespoke solution specifically designed for the petrochemical industry. This system complements a dual fired system, which has a large waste oil burner at the front, LPG burners to the side into the secondary chamber, gives you extra control with your oxygen sensors into the stack, and also trace heating to your waste oil fuel tank. This allows any of the solids that are being generated into a waste oil tank to turn it back into a liquid to give you easier combustion into the main chamber. To the other side of the unit is a hopper. This is for general waste. So the general waste is manually operated into the hopper and then it's introduced into intervals of 20 kilograms per hour. So this will give the site uh, flexibility that they don't just manage their soil waste but also their general waste on site. Let me show you the system a little bit closer. So at the rear of the incinerator is the hopper for the contaminated sand and soil. This is deposited into a screw feed system which brings it up to the, uh, the pipes and entry into the back of the incinerator which has a sloped floor to ensure that you have greater retention of the sand to ensure that we're burning off any of the carbon that are in the sand. All of the waste is deposited to the top of the hopper and then there's sliding floors that allow uh, constant entry of the waste into the screw feed. Uh, this is a manual operation where you load the sand and soil into the hopper. It has its sensors at the front to ensure that it's at full capacity. So here we are to the loader for the general waste. So we've got our ram loader which you add entry into the chamber. Into the chamber, you close your door and you navigate through your controls. So you have an auto and a manual. Uh, in auto, by the time you close it, you'll press the start cycle. It would automatically lift the door up and then it will start to push the waste inside the chamber. By the time the waste has been deposited inside the incinerator, it will retract back to its original position. If there was anything in the way, it would repeat this by pushing the waste back into the chamber and going back to its original position. This will allow the door then to lower back into its original position. So we have a viewing pool to allow you to see the process of the burn cycle inside the chamber. You have a large door to remove the ash out of the chamber. And you have a large waste oil burner at the front. The waste oil burner is supported with a trace heating fuel line that supports uh, a nice clean uh, liquefied uh, fuel supply to the burner. So this is inside the incinerator. So you've got your living switches that when the doors are open, all of the burners will turn off. Inside the chamber, you will see that there's uh, a port to the side that allows entry for the general waste into the incinerator. But also towards the back of the unit is a screw fed system that introduces the waste into the incinerator onto a gravity fed slow. This includes, uh, ensures that we have a uh, good retention of the waste stream to the incinerator. Each chamber, the primary chamber and the second chamber, has its own temperature probe. This ensures that we have optimal combustion inside the incinerator. So this is the PLC that complements the incinerator. You have a fully programmed system and then you have the manual overrides for each of the burners. You'll find that each of the burners have their own half or auto switches. Uh, this includes the waste oil system and the feeding system in the incinerator. The touch screens are designed to be friendly to use. So each of the primary chambers has each step. This includes burner 1, 2, 3 and the levels for preheat. Each one of these settings can be modified on commissioning. For security, we do have uh, access screens. This will ensure that whether it's an operator, a supervisor or engineer level, will ensure that we have uh, full security of the system so we're not allowing some of you semi-competent to try and change the settings of the system. You'll see uh, through navigation of the control panel, you'll have engineer nav navigation screens. This allows you to uh, adjust the settings for the screw feed, uh, for the hopper and for the incinerators going to manual. You also have a selection of uh, useful links. This will give you guides on how to maintain, how to operate and how to ensure that you have a, a, a clean 
combustion inside the intermediate. Part of this package is an oxygen sensor which gives continued reload inside the secondary chamber once it's above 600 degrees C. Uh, the readout will give the temperature and also the oxygen readout. The messaging is then transferred to the PLC so you always have a constant reading through the main controls of the temperature and the oxygen inside the system. So this is the Adfield G20 incinerator.